Hey guys, I'm Josh Getzoff. 2022 marks 30 years Iceberg has been entertaining fans, sliding down railings, and leading crowds into cheering here at Penguins home games. As a finalist for this year's Mascot Hall of Fame, it is no surprise Iceberg is loved by Penns fans young and old. And the origins of this flightless bird goes back to another beloved figure in Penguins history. Before we begin, we should point out that the first mascot of the Pittsburgh Penguins was an iceberg. For my 10th birthday, my father gifted me the first mascot of the Penguins in front of the crowd. It was in our second season. A call, phone call came from out of the blue from a one-time youth hockey player, student at University of Pittsburgh, saying we should get a penguin teach him how to skate, have the penguin lead the team onto the ice. And I was to hold a uh, tantalizing sardine above the uh, mouth of the penguin, and we were all to smile for the uh, camera. The cameraman took his time getting set up, and so Pete the penguin pecked once, twice at the sardine, looked at me as the one holding his sardine hostage, and planted a peck right in between my eyes. A huge egg immediately formed on my son's forehead uh, and he will go to his grave remembering how we celebrated his 10th birthday. So the actual picture that's in the Post-Gazette is me shying away <laughs> from the sardine when uh, Pete was introduced. Pete led the team with much fanfare onto the ice for a few games. Fans went crazy. Unfortunately, Pete led the team for only a handful of games before catching pneumonia and succumbing to the disease. A second penguin named Repeat appeared at several games before the live animal mascot was abandoned altogether. Over two decades passed until the idea of a mascot started to surface again within the Penguins' front office, spurred by a new head coach and shortly thereafter, new ownership. When Howard Baldwin bought the team, Howard's background was in entertainment. And so it's not a great surprise that under his tenure as team owner, uh, Iceberg would have been created the very first mascot in the National Hockey League was Harvey the Hound in Calgary, Alberta for the Calgary Flames. Bob and Martha Johnson, Bob Johnson, our former head coach, and his wife Martha lived in Calgary for a while while Bob coached there. So when Bob and Martha came to Pittsburgh, Martha had noticed that the Penguins didn't have a team mascot. and so. She suggested to team management that maybe we look into creating a mascot. Martha Johnson reached out directly to someone with mascot experience, someone who wishes to remain anonymous. I actually was uh, doing a, an event function for uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates as the Pirate Parrot. Martha actually came with several players uh, to this world's largest office party. After I was done performing as the Pirate Parrot, Martha wanted me to come over and talk to her about what it would take to maybe start a mascotting program with the Pittsburgh Penguins. I can remember when they first brought in illustrations of what the mascot would look like. And, uh, you know, they had all these uh, drawings and illustrations laid out on the conference room table. Bringing these illustrations to life was up to John and Bill Cox, the VP of merchandising for the Penguins, who set out on a trip to Cincinnati. In Cincinnati is King's Island Amusement Park, uh, and we were actually gonna have the King's Island costuming uh, department make Iceberg. But the real importance of me and, and Bill going there is the fact that I had experience performing in characters in the past, and we just really wanted to make sure that the performer was as cool as possible, as well as the costume was light, and you know you could perform for long periods of time. So um, just really trying to get the engineering aspect aspect of Iceberg put together. Stanley shoots it blocked. The Penguins have won the Stanley Cup. Oh, Lord Stanley, Lord Stanley, get me the brandy. Pens were pretty busy at the time. They were in the process of winning their second Stanley Cup in 92 uh, there. And three weeks later, after they had won the Cup, on July 3rd, 1992, Iceberg made its debut at uh, the Three Rivers Regatta down at Point State Park. 
Even though Iceberg made his public debut, he was not known as Iceberg at the time. Now that the mascot was actually performing, that mascot did not have a name as of, as of that time. The team partnered with a local sponsor to get the name for Iceberg, so it was a contest for fans to give Iceberg its, its name. There were several popular names that were uh, you know, part of the contest, but Iceberg prevailed. And the uniqueness of Iceberg uh, being spelled B-U-R-G-H for the city of Pittsburgh. For 30 years, Iceberg has entertained countless fans, appeared in various videos, and even scored some big goals on the ice. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the inaugural mascot showdown. Slap shot with almost a miraculous go. Wait, Iceberg! Picks Wild Wings pocket and scores for the East. And John, the person Martha Johnson reached out to to help hatch Iceberg? Let's just say he's still here assisting the mascot. I mean, it's hard to believe that 30 years has gone by. I mean, it has been a quick 30 years. My most memorable event was the fact that Martha actually came back for the uh, 50th anniversary. And uh, I was able to you know, go over to her while I was in costume prior to the game starting to allow her to know that it was still me in the costume. And she was just so very, very complimentary of me and my performance you know, at the time that she met me as well as what I've done over the years and that meant so very, very much coming from her.